Welcome, let's discuss the volume of a pyramid. For this illustration, we're going to start by considering a prism of a cube. And in the past, we have established that the volume of a prism is equivalent to the area of the base times the height. Now let's break this cube into pyramids. So now what if we open these pyramids and let's see how many pyramids can we fit into this cube. And notice that we're able to fit three pyramids inside this cube. And even if we change the dimensions of this cube, the pyramids will follow those dimensions and we're still going to be able to fit three pyramids inside this prism. Even if we change the width, we're still going to be able to fit three pyramids inside this prism. So if the formula below is to find the volume of a prism, and we have established that we can fit three pyramids inside a prism, then we can say that the volume of a pyramid is one third of a prism. So now we have developed a formula that we can use to find the volume of any pyramid. It is going to be one third of the volume of a prism, one third of the area of the base times the height. So now that we have established this formula, let's take a look at one example. Given the pyramid on the left, let's find the volume of it. We have already established that to find the volume of a pyramid that is equivalent to one third times the area of the base times the height. But notice that we are given the height of this pyramid. It is equivalent to 10 centimeters. So now we got to think about how we can find the area of the base. But once we have that, then we can find the volume. If we concentrate on the base of this pyramid, it is a regular polygon where all sides are congruent to each other. So to find the area of the base, we got to think about how we can find the area of a regular polygon. And in the past, we have said that the area of a regular polygon, it is equivalent to one half times the perimeter times the apothem. To find the perimeter, we know that the sides of a regular polygon are equal to each other. And notice that we know that each side is of a value of six centimeters. So if each side is equivalent to six centimeters, and there are six sides in this regular polygon, then the perimeter will be six times six. And remember that the apotem is the height of one of the triangles in a regular polygon. But the good thing is that we are given that measurement. That measurement is of a value of three times the square root of three. So now we simplify all this, we should be able to find the area of the base. Thirty six times one half, that is eighteen. And we're multiplying two expressions, and there's a square root involved. We multiply outsides with outsides and insides with insides. So the outside numbers are gonna be eighteen and three. So that's gonna give us fifty four. And the square root of three we didn't multiply with anything, so let's carry it on. Now let's use our graphing calculator to approximate this value. That's going to be approximately 93.53 centimeters square. So now that we have the area of the base of the pyramid, we can plug in that value into our formula and we should be able to define the volume of this pyramid. The area of the base is 93.53 and the height of this pyramid, we found it to be of 10 centimeters. So now let's use our calculator to find this value. So now we can conclude that the volume of this pyramid is equivalent to 311.76 centimeters cubed. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.